Dundee, city of discovery, of jam, jute and teenage pregnancy. Home to Ninewells Hospital and Medical School, where a diverse and eclectic mix of medical students can be observed. Here, we can see the painfully enthusiastic. Just bought every single one of my medical books and I'm just about to touch my first real patient. Oh my god, real lube! Oh, this is incredible! I just absolutely love the Mackenzie building. That fresh air when you're on the wall down is unbeatable. Seen never too far from the library or a consultant's rear end. Next, we visit the overly academic. We approach with caution so as to avoid any soul-draining discussion. What did you do before medical school? Prior to attending medical school, I did extensive research in the field of biochemistry, characterizing two transition states and parallel protein folding pathways. Now, could you please ask how your patient is feeling? Is that in the textbook? Phew, we certainly dodged a bullet there. Now, we have the super competitive. Notice the clenched fists of determination and the clenched buttocks of anality. See, I am going to be the youngest cardiothoracic surgeon in Europe. And you, you get in my way and I'll cut you up. And your stupid little mutt too. Where is, ah yes, the appropriately named missing one. Most likely to only appear when that hot registrar is taking wards. He must be either mad or both. Next oh, is the crier. I really think I failed that progress test. I know they said it was only formative, but there's no way they don't keep a record. Oh, one of the ladies in level five gave me such a funny look when I didn't have enough money for lunch. Oh. Attention-seeking behaviour or oh. serious depressive tendencies? Oh. We'll leave that question for Dr. Day. No school, medical or otherwise, would be complete without the prankster comically unfashionable hat and all. <laughs> hey guys, I emailed that girl who is like always crying. I pretended to be Prof Pippard and I said that she'd like failed her formative assessment like in anatomy and she had to be kicked out. <laughs> Man, absolute classic. Hey wait, has anyone seen her recently? Classic stuff. Now, we have the questionable admission. Okay, so you want to know the bones and the wrist. Right, wait, I know this one. And the wrist bones connected to the hand. Oh, shit. Observe these two students in conversation. One shows classic characteristics of the one-track mind. So, what are you doing? And you're a search, right? No, not like, not like in medicine. Like, what are you doing this weekend? Ah, uh, well, I might look over some, read up on neurosurgery, uh, look over some case studies, uh, or even check out the film this weekend. Um, do you ever watch, like, Grey's Anatomy? I can never remember if it's McSteamy or McDreamy that does the brain stuff. Look, we're going to go grab a KFC. Do you want some? Well, I once had a, a variety bucket with a chicken brain in it, so yes. Penultimately, we have the 12-year-old, a student that can be shown to elicit a definitive response to certain stimuli. Testicles, breast exam, <laughs> clitoromegaly, <laughs> tonsil pedo. <laughs> Cock. And finally, the only one who's sane. You're all a bunch of fucking lunatics. I'm quitting med school, I'm gonna get a job doing it, make a bingo.